hi guys so in this video we're gonna learn one new hook and before learning our new hook i'm gonna remove some of the code in here and i'm gonna convert our fetching method to async await now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just remove this set timeout that we have used in here so for that i'm gonna just remove it here from here and that's all what we need in for this yeah follow what we need now it's doing good okay now what i'm gonna do you that we're gonna use async right so for that purpose we're gonna use this async await now let's see i'm gonna just type in here and as you can see here that we got some error in here and if i just hover in our async as you can see here effects callback are synchronous to prevent rest condition put the async function inside so what it says that use effect is actually a synchronous is actually synchronous so what we are going to use we are going to use async await inside our use effect or we're gonna convert or we're gonna create our new function async and we're gonna call inside it and also define it inside this use effect so let's do that so i'm just gonna remove it and the name of our function name is fetch data okay simple name now in here i'm just gonna use this es6 index and the name of our function is fetch data and we are going to use async right so let's do this async and now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna paste in here inside our definition now let's see what we are going to do next we are going to use this const response that we get using await now in here we don't need these parts what we need is const data and await And response to this one. and we also know the uh, no, need this part we also need we just need these parts so yeah that's it that's what we need in here now if i just refresh it again and you will see in here that we got this okay that is fine right now there is one more thing that i'm gonna say that is that that uh, if we're gonna write all the code inside this use effect it will be much of code in here right like this is not the these things like if we're gonna dispatch an action we're gonna use redux we're gonna use some different libraries so it's gonna get a bigger code inside this use effect and if i just uh, remove this code and just type in outside of our use effect let's see what will happen okay and we're gonna just see what next just i'm gonna show what will happen so that's purpose i'm just gonna use it high in here now let's see okay yeah we got this one time high if i just type in here yeah it's doing good it's fine but uh, there is one caveat that is this fetch data is actually a dependency not this is unmount we don't need this is unmount unmount in here actually so we need we have to pass this fetch data as a dependency in here so if i do that as you can see here that we got many times high actually this is wrong we don't need this type of caveat this type of things so for that purpose the use callback hook is introduced and we're gonna see how can we do this so for that purpose i'm just gonna give it here the actually syntax how can we write this so I'm just going to uh, give it the same thing in here, const fetch data, 
and then you're gonna give this use callback and this use callback will we are going to provide a function inside it and the function logic that I'm gonna write is the same thing I'm just gonna copy it from here and just paste in here and also we are we can use async in here because this is a simple function right this is a simple function you can write this now we have imported this use callback now what what is this there is also one there is something wrong in here as you can see here that it also need another thing that is dependencies that we have used inside this our use effect right and this use effect uh, we are going to provide uh, the dependency such that if there is anything changes in here it will look into this dependency if it is different from the future render and before render so that this use call this function will be run okay so actually there is something actually there is something also wrong that the use callback is not defined because yeah is not this is not been expo imported in here so let's import it right now this is good now let's see what will happen now if I just type in here it doesn't work right it will not work because we haven't provided this unmount in here right but uh, I'm just gonna say uh, change our code a little bit so they says that it will look good so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change our mount to is an is mount and this is going to be set mount such that you will see that when this mount and unmounting will happen in here okay and I'm gonna do one thing more that is whenever the ID will change this ID will change it will not be static it will be dynamic that whenever this ID will change this fetch data will be occurred now for doing this we again need one new state that is id and we are going to set the id right so we are going to use this use state and the default value is one or initial value is one now we don't need this what we need is a string interpolation because this is going to be a dynamic string right now in here I'm just gonna provide this ID in here now this is what we need in here now in here the dependency is ID whenever the ID will change this function will be called and also what I'm gonna use set mount to be true because we have mounted right so this will be called and again if we are not mounted so it will be a false and also we are going to change text in here right because this is not the right this is actually static that's why so what I'm gonna use we're gonna just use this text and what is is mount okay is mount then what I'm gonna say we are mount and or else unmount actually it should be camel case so i'm just gonna give camel case oh, this is correct now i'm just gonna uh, remove this on click we don't need this on click we are not going to do it with anything now we are just going to change it with text now just give it here text and also it will be disabled whenever you unmount it so dot uh, not is mount now yeah that's it what we need in here now also we are going to change this id right so for that i'm just going to use this input tag and input tag will have a type called number 
and the value is equal to this ID and we are going to use this on change we'll have an event listener such that we are going to change this set ID to event.target.value now let's see that if I'm correct or not okay so oh yeah we haven't closed it right <laughs> yeah now let's see okay it's working fine there's no error in here now if I just use it here as you can see here it's working fine okay as you can see here you can see that the same thing is happening here so yeah so this is the use callback that is very beneficial when you want to optimize your code now in the next video we're gonna see one more optimized hook uh, basically the name is use memo and we're gonna see the use memo also with that how previously we use memo uh, for optimizing our code yeah so in this video that's all thanks